How's it going everyone? This is the next noob and today we're going to play the prologue for Night Reverie. Um, according to the Steam page, this is a puzzle adventure and the prologue includes the first act for the game. So let's see how this goes. Lately, I have the feeling that there's something special in the sky. People say the moon looks like cheese, but for me, it looks more like a giant crystal ball. Another one! It's the third one this week. I wonder if I can make the same wish every time. Well, there's no rule against that. Well, here goes my usual wish. A wish for a cat? I really wish for is the same person doing that or does she have a cat? Mr. Lucky She's wishing for Mr. Lucky? Or is she just Saw so, Mr. Mr. Lucky. Okay, Mr. Lucky, I can't focus with you meowing in the most important moment. Okay, so it's a <laughs> sorry. So she has a cat and the cat is interrupting her. Can't you go to my sister's room? I'm pretty sure she has a night tre nice treat for you. Wait, what are you doing up there? Is that fluffy? You know my sister loves fluffy. Mr. Lucky, why? Come on down, you can't stay there forever. I gotta find a way to make him go down before something bad happens to Fluffy. What? What is Fluffy? Is it a bear? A monkey? Looks like a bear, okay. This is a quest that only me, the night explorer, can undertake. Okay, I need something to attract Mr. Lucky's attention and make him climb down. Maybe I can find something useful in my sister's room. Oh, okay. You can save your progress from the pause menu by selecting the save game option. Okay. I already forgot what save is escape, right? Yeah. So the save game thing is okay. Let's go. We must find a way to get Fluffy back. I better ask my sister if she has something to attract Mr. Lucky's attention. Well, let me just explore a bit. There's nothing inside the drawer. When did I leave my old console outside? I've spent countless hours playing on it. What's the setting for this? I don't think another star will fall tonight. I think I missed my opportunity to ask for my wish again. Aw, oh, Mr. Lucky, I was trying to wish for something. So yeah, um, I'm not sure what the setting is. I thought it was some old tiny thing, but she has a console apparently, so okay. Let's go to my sister's room. Sit this one. Mom and Dad must still be at work. Lately, I don't see them at night so often. Oh. Mom bought that plant a couple months ago. She really enjoys decorating rooms with little details. Alright. I shouldn't go upstairs this late. Why? This is one of my dad's favorite spots in the whole house. He sits there, sorry, he sits there for hours reading books or the newspaper. At least he should spend more time with my sister. I just took a bath before observing the stars. I wonder if more people have plants like this one in their bathrooms. 
It's empty. Who took out the trash today? I don't feel like going right now. I'm sorry. I never forget to wash my hands before and after playing with my toys. My mom always tells me to do that. I like gazing at the moonlight that comes in through this window. That's why this is my favorite bathroom in the house. I think mom loves this color. I always see the same dowel color. Okay, where is my sister? Hello. Hi, Emma. Can't sleep right now. Aw. Hi, Matt. I can't... Oh, he's a dude. I thought... Um, this was something like a little red writing, but I don't know. I make assumptions. I'm sorry. Hi, Matt. I can't sleep. Mr. Lucky ran off with Fluffy. He's acting strange lately. Did you see him? And why are you playing the Night Explorer this late? You really love to wear those funny clothes around the house. It's not a game this time. I'm solving a mystery around here. I'm solving the Mr. Lucky mystery. Oh my god, these guys are adorable. I was watching the moon with my telescope and I saw a falling star, the third one this week. I was about to make a wish again when suddenly Mr. Lucky distracted me and then I realized he climbed very high with Fluffy. Don't worry, your big bro will get Fluffy back to you in no time. Aww. Thanks, brother. Just be careful. Mom and Dad don't want you to do dangerous things. They won't let you play video games again. And they won't be here right now if something bad happens. No problem. I won't do anything dangerous. I promise. Aw, what a nice brother. Emma needs an alarm clock to wake up on time for school. I don't like alarm clocks. I prefer living in my dreams as long as possible until mom and dad wake me up for school. There are many clothes inside this wardrobe. I prefer having toys and video games. That's Mr. Lucky's favorite toy. We run around the house with this and he tries to follow us every time. What's that? That's like a mouse on, on, on a piece of string? On a stick? Okay. Try using that. He can't resist his cutest toy. Cool. Ah, uh, so you can equip. You can craft. You can examine. Fair enough. This is a toy chest. My sister has all kinds of toys in here. Those dolls and the blue elephant are her favorite aside from Fluffy. Okay. Let's go back and get that cat. Should I go down? Uh, later. Okay, Mr. Fluffy, here's your toy, which I don't know how to use. Okay, Mr. Lucky, so you don't want to go down, right? Well, how about I use my secret weapon? Just a little more. Great! Worked! Oh no, you dragged poor Fluffy all over the floor, didn't you? Aww. You know mom and dad aren't happy with you lately. I can't return Fluffy... Fluff... Fluffy? Has it been Fluffy or Fluffy? Like this to my sister, I, I'll clean it first. Some water will be enough to leave a Fluffy good as new. So it's Fluffy, okay. Water. Uh, in the bathroom. Did I try this door? Oh, this was uh, the upstairs door that he should go into. 
Okay. In here. No. Okay, Fluffy, time for a quick bath. You must be a clean bear if you want to play with us. Won't he be soaked then? I mean, you can't really give a wet bear to a kid. Alright, you're good to sorry, you're good to go now, Fluffy. I hope you enjoyed your bath. Emma will be happy to see you again. You cleaned the bear plush. It's now a wet bear plush. Have to dry it out or something. Hi. Emma, good news. I have something for you. It's fluffy, clean and happy. Thanks, Matt. Mr. Lucky came here. I think he wanted to apologize for what he did. Thanks for rescuing Fluffy for me, brother. You are my hero. Oh. I'm really sleepy. Good night, big bro. You're so cute. She fell asleep instantly with Fluffy by her side. Mission completed. I'm really sleepy too. I better go back to my room and sleep. Don't you dare get the bear again. It's hard to get mad at you, Mr. Lucky. Don't wake my sister up. Should I explore? It's too late to explore downstairs. I better stay on this floor. Oh, never mind. So I'll sleep now, I guess? My eyes are closing. Time to rest. I'm glad Fluffy is safe now. I didn't get to make my wish though. My wish will make you live in a brighter world. What? Where am I? I can't see anything. Huh. What's that light over there? Let's find out. What? This is scary. Hello. You're cute. Is that going to be my buddy? Like a sidekick or something? <gasps> is this is this still my room? Are you alright? Who are you? Where am I? This looks like my bedroom, but My name is Sparky. Nice to meet you. Hi Sparky. Are you some kind of magical being? My name is Matt. It seems that you don't know what's happening either. This is embarrassing, but I only remember being surrounded by darkness. I illuminated everything and you appeared next to me. Really? How did we end up here? I really don't know. We must discover what's happening here. Don't worry, I'm used to solving these kinds of mysteries. I'm glad I met someone reliable. Eh, the most important thing is to discover why this place is identical to my house and find my family. Sounds like a job for the Night Explorer. The Night Explorer? Yep, that's me. Alright, let's go. I'll help you light your bath. We met Sparky. I like this guy already. He <laughs> follows me around, okay. I have the same a robot toy. It'll only stop dancing if I remove the batteries, but it ha but it has some screws I need to remove first. I can't turn it off completely unless I have something to remove the screws. So this is like a parallel universe? It also has a big button to play a funny song. 
Suddenly, I really want to press that button. Not now. I don't remember having this lantern. Some things here are just completely different from my real bedroom. Um, I have a console. Who left this video game console here? What's a video game console? Oh right, I suppose it's the first time you see one of these. This device can give you thousands of hours of fun, yes. Yes, I agree, Matt. Don't worry, I'll teach you how to use it later. You should first find out what's happening here. I've never seen this video game before. I really want to play it right now, but we'll have plenty of time to play video games later. What's that game? This poster gives the impression that it could light up the whole world. I'd love to have a giant bulb in my bedroom. There is nothing interesting inside. If I had one of these in my room, it'd be full of toys and video games. This looks like the plant mom bought for her house. This one is still growing. Can I turn the lantern off? Okay, never mind. Should I try the song then? Let's try that. <laughs> okay. Can I dance to that? I like it. Oh, that's a short song. Got an achievement for that though, so that's nice. This is the same hallway, although the pictures are animated. I am in Hogwarts. This clock looks really old. Looks way better than the modern ones. It's locked. Looks like I need to find the correct key. This picture is moving. It's an LCD screen, bro. I see a cat swimming, swimming? and wearing a snorkel under sea. Sur surrounded by colorful sea creatures. Oh, yeah! Those are fish. And bubbles. Okay. Oh, I get it! It may be looking for something precious that was lost in the water. I hope everything goes well for this aquatic cat. It's close, but I don't see a keyhole in the doorknob. I don't think I can open it from this side. This picture looks incredible. I see a little down with moving clouds. There are mountains in the background and the houses are from another age. I definitely live in a place like that. I'm scared of that dog, so let's do that last. Wow, Sparky, look, a record player. What's a record player? Basically, it can play any kind of music. You need to have that music recorded before on a black giant disc. That sounds crazy to me, but I believe you. Oh. It's nice that you trust me. I just met you. Is that a dog? Wait, a dog wearing human clothes? Please, I know. My fault. The dog seems troubled in his sleep. Talking dog wearing human clothes. But for some reason, I'm not afraid. I am. I don't think it's a good idea getting too close. I'm gonna pet the dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you are an adventurer, aren't you, Matt? Really? Just be careful. 
I relate more with Sparky. Also, this might be an Animal Crossing world. With considering the, that dog. Oh, That was amazing! I could pet that doggy all day! I don't think the dog is waking up anytime soon. Okay, slightly different. This doesn't look much different from my bathtub. Hey, there's a rubber duck inside. Let's get it. Is that some kind of decoration? Hmm, it's just a toy we use each time we take a bath. It floats on the water. It's so cute and yellow. I think I'll take it with me. Yeah! Let's take it. It'll give me good luck. Yay! There's no trash to collect. It looks like they're really tidy here, just like in my house. Or maybe they never go to the bathroom. I don't remember the toilet being here. I always make sure there's plenty of toilet paper. What a good guy. What happens if you run out of toilet paper? Oh, Sparky, Sparky, Sparky. Something terrible. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Looks like all towels are the same color everywhere. Is someone copying mom's taste for towels? It's curious to see the same sink from my bathroom in here. I think the last thing you have to do is to go to the sister's room. I'm not sure I want to know. Oh. I don't want that cute dog to be mad at me. So I can't pass here, right? Okay. If I keep doing this, will he wake up? Never mind. Okay, so let's go down. I, I, I'm not sure if I want to know if my sister is there or if there's a, another version of my sister there. It is Animal Crossing. As long as I don't have to be alone, I'm fine. sit for a while and watch TV. This is not your house! You'll just stare at that shiny window? That's a magical window. It's called television and it, and it can teach you new things about the world and beyond. Really? Now I feel like joining you. This TV has cable signal. I want to watch. Uh, can we talk to the bunny first? Seems a little bit rude that I'm walking around without without are, are you asleep? Where are you going? Hello? It's really cold here. Hello, Mr. Bunny, are you okay? It looks like he's freezing. Really? I'm doing fine with my current clothes. Maybe it has something to do with my powers. Oh okay. I'm sure you will be fine. Let's help him out after we investigate a little more. Can I do this for you? It's a shame it's empty. It would look great with a wood fire. Maybe we can find some firewood around the house. I'll help you look for anything useful. Wow, there are so many flowers in that vase. Definitely someone is following mom's steps. This door leads to my house's library, but it's currently locked. Curiouser and curiouser. 
I wonder what books I'll be able to find here. There are many books. I bet those flasks contain magic potions. I don't feel like tasting them though. Why are there so many potions in this bookshelf? I don't think it's a good idea to drink any of those potions. This looks like Dad's coat. Every morning I only get to see how he leaves the house with his coat. Thanks for subscribing to the shopping channel. Fresh bread is our specialty. If you need express delivery for any of our products, call the following 7 digit number 7770. Okay, so there's a cauldron and the fridge and a pretty modern kitchen and the barrel because that makes sense number one light the cauldron two cook carrot three cut fresh bread four put together fresh bread and carrot blinky fresh bread and carrot those don't go together Wow, such bright colors. It seems as if many wishes have been caught inside those jars. Wow, it looks like a witch cauldron. Witch cauldron? Wishes use those to create potions with strange ingredients. It sounds pretty useful. How about we light it up and cook something? Like carrots? This fridge is working at full power. I'm freezing just looking at it. This machine could be my biggest enemy. <laughs> okay. It's the first time I see one of these. It's tightly closed. Maybe there's food inside, like bananas. In a barrel? Are bananas normally in a barrel? I'm not sure. Let's see, I'm sure there's something there's something useful around here. I knew it. This bread knife can be a useful tool. I obtained a bread knife to stab things with. Or not. My mom used to keep her cookie sheets in a similar place. Together with Emma and my mom, we loved to bake cookies of different colors, different flavors. Sorry. But it has been a long time since we did anything with mom. So I'm thinking I need uh, like a, a screwdriver for the robot and some wood for the bunny. Can I use the bread knife as a screwdriver? It seems someone was about to make a campfire here. Right, I don't think you know what a campfire is. It's a really big fire people usually like to sit around it and tell stories. In that case, I'm sure I can light an incredible campfire. Can you light this up? Can you try? Oh! Okay, so the, can the bunny go down here? This is way too hot. I don't think it's a good idea to touch it with my bare hands. What's with all the mushrooms? And the boxes. Well, I don't want to go there. It's dark. What is this? Alright, uh, before we try the rail cart, I'm gonna try this 
Uh, wow, what happened to this wall? I can't see anything on the other side, it's too dark. We shouldn't go inside, it may be dangerous. Smart kid. Smart, smart kid. I wonder what's on the other side of the rails. Sparky's in my inventory? Okay. Can I equip him? Can I equip him? And then light this thing up. It's a little dark in here. It would be great to light a fire with these logs. I think I can help you with that. It's my specialty. Alright, Sparky. Show me your power. Step back. Oh no! Oh. Okay. Wow. I see we have new guests. Tell me, how did you find this place? I hope my big appearance does not look intimidating to you. Mr. Lucky, is that you? What happened to you? I think Emma is giving you too much food. I see you are familiar with my name. Nice to meet you, but I think you are mistaking me with someone else. Well, I'm also glad to meet you. I'm Matt and my friend over here is Sparky. Don't worry about your appearance. You look adorable and have a nice fur. Thanks for your kind words. From what I see, you don't know what is going on. Did you tell me what happened? Everything looks similar to my house and yet so different. For a while now, there is something that is changing this place. Or who knows, it was always this distorted. Before all this, the residents of this place lived in harmony and helped each other. And then the Fire Nation attacked. But now negative emotions run through the hallways of this house. Why did this happen? That is something I would also like to know. Everything was very different around here. I guess we were happy in our own way. This all sounds very sad. There is much more you need to know. But first, I need your help with something very important to me. What is it, Mr. Lucky? Somebody took my favorite toy without my permission and, well, it is not easy for me to go around the house and look for it. Is it the rubber duck? Ah, it is. My toy is yellow and makes a funny noise when I bite it. I think you will know what you will know of what I'm I am talking about as soon as you see it. Would you get it back to me? No worries, I'll find your precious toy in no time. This place looks very similar to my house, so I don't think it'll be too hard to explore. When you come back with my toy, I will solve all your doubts. Oh, will you? I will be waiting here. Good luck, Matt. It's creepy. Okay, I have your thingy. Uh, this one. What are you holding in your hand, Matt? Is that my precious toy? You really found it. I was just here the whole time. I found it inside a bathtub. I used to have a similar rubber duck in my bathtub some time ago. To think my favorite toy would end up in a place like that. Thank you for finding my yellow friend. Now I will keep my word and answer your questions. Great. I haven't seen my sister anywhere around here. I want to know if she is fine. I do not remember seeing your sister, but as you know, it is not like I can move around much. Uh, I can move much around the house. Most of the things I know are because my friends used to visit me. They were good to me. We used to spend time together, but little by little, they stopped coming here. Lately, I was having the feeling their concerns were taking over them. I think something strange happened in this house and affected everyone at the same time. Poor Mr. Lucky, you've been all alone in here lately? Most of the time, but sometimes I get visited by a friend who came before you. 
I don't even know his name, but I know he walks all over the house. Maybe he has seen your sister. That's a great clue! I'll try to find him. He may know something about my sister. I really want to help you with whatever you need, but I'm also worried about my little sister. She's been really sad lately. I need to get back to her. I understand that you will definitely find a way to her. I think we can solve all of this together. Hmm, where should I start looking? It is possible some of my friends may have met your sister somewhere in this big house. Look for my friends around the house. They may be able to help you somehow. I trust everything will be back to normal and you will be reunited with your sister. Don't worry, I'll go find them. I hope they are really friendly just like you. Before you go, I want you to have this for helping me out. This is the finest firewood you will find in the whole house. Yeah, for the bunny. I have many of these back here. You never know when you will be needing a warm wood fire. Place the firewood here. The firewood is in place already for Sparky. Can Sparky do it on his own? No? Okay. Alright, stay clear. Yeah. Oh, the bunny's awake. That's much better. I can feel my legs again. Maybe it wasn't such a bad idea to stand in front of an empty fireplace. You guys appeared just in time. Hello, my name is Matt, and this is my friend Sparky. I'm Blinky. You're the one with the instructions, right? Thanks for lighting such a nice fire next to me. Ha, I'm flattered. I've never seen your faces around here before. Are you special guests? We just arrived here. I come from a place that looks a lot like this one. What are you doing all alone in here? I came here to have a tea party I organized for my friends. I feared nobody would come in. Are you the March Hare? Are you having an unbirthday party? As you can see, nobody showed up. I'm really sorry, Blinky. I bet all of this is some kind of explanation. Yes, I'm sure they didn't do it on purpose. What I really feared was not being with my best friend. I miss my best friend, but it has been a while since the last time I saw him. This place is too big. I don't feel safe without my friend. Is your friend to talk? Sorry guys. I'd like to have more courage to look for him. To go look for him. Don't worry. There must be a reason why we just met. I know. Why don't we have a tea party? The three of us right now. We'll be your guests. Would you be my guests? Are you Lumiere? Every guest is supposed to bring something to the party. I think I could prepare a really decent tea. What are you bringing to the party? I didn't think about that. I don't have anything for the party. How about you prepare my favorite treat? It's called Carrot Sandwich. Carrot Sandwich? Does it taste any good, Matt? I'm not a carrot fan, but I should probably figure out how to make that sandwich. Let's give it a try. We'll make the best sandwich you've ever had. But we don't have a recipe. I keep one at the kitchen table. It's always there in case my memory fails me. Take this carrot. I harvested it specially for this day. Okay. I'm sure you'll find the rest of the ingredients if you search well. Here we go again. I'll see you at the tea party. Don't forget to bring the sandwich. Of course. Okay. Let's make a carrot sandwich then. Wow, it looks like a witch cauldron. Oh, I should light it with him. 
This cauldron would be perfect for cooking any food. I've always wanted to cook in a cauldron just like in the movies, even though my mom always tells me not to play with fire. Watch out! I'm going to light it up! has a strange color? Well, as long as the carrot gets cooked. Okay, the carrot is in. Now we wait. Three, two, one. Already now. We obtained cooked carrot, which is apparently now purple. One step closer to the famous carrot sandwich. So I have a red knife. Which I assume we're going to use for the drink. Hmm, I should probably close the fridge. Oh, sorry, I didn't do that earlier, I'm sorry. Where's the bread, though? I better close this. Mom always tells me not to leave shelves open. Mom used to keep cookie sheets in, simi in a similar place. Yeah, we, we, we read this earlier. Where's the bread? Right, it's carrot and bread, right? the bread knife as a screwdriver. I was, uh, I'm, I'm thinking no, because this might be for the bread, but I don't know what we have to lose. Where could the bread be? I've tried this door. We're probably going to get the key later. I tried this door too. So no, uh, is the dog still asleep? Can I get past the dog? Can I like... about where I should go next. I need bread. Um, I think I tried every possible thing. Did I try the drawers here? There's nothing inside. Well, at least there are beautiful flowers on top. Is there bread here? Oh! Fresh bread is the specialty of the shopping channel, but I'm missing three numbers. Maybe I can watch the TV. Get the, the numbers. Okay. Shopping channel. Welcome to the shopping channel. Learn about our best promotions. Make a smart investment with us. You can buy fresh bread now via our telephone line. Call 777-0182 and order now. 777-0182. 777-0182. Seven 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 zero one eight two. Welcome to the shopping channel. What's your order? Hello, my name is Matt. I wish to order some fresh bread. Perfect timing. We got the best bread. 
How many are you ordering? Just one would be great. Will it take too long to arrive here? Wait a moment. Lucky you. You apply for a free order. Isn't that an amazing deal? Wow, for free? But how am I supposed to receive my order? Your order will arrive in three, three days, two, one. <laughs> okay. Order delivered. You left your order inside your bedroom. What? Thanks for, thank you for your preference. And remember, if it isn't fresh, it isn't bread. That was strange. I'm glad you think so, too, Matt. I better go to my bedroom before somebody else picks up my order. I'd like that, though. I would like shopping, uh, I would like stores to deliver to my bedroom. What? What? I didn't see that! What did he look like? I can't believe it actually appeared in my room. It's so strange and convenient at the same time. It obtained fresh bread. Yeah. Snow White Tablecloth, it seems someone was drinking coffee while writing something in that piece of paper over there. I probably should have seen that earlier. Um, oh, I can combine. Combine it with this. I can cut the bread with this knife. Great, now I can prepare a sandwich. Obtain sliced bread. Ooh, well. Um, and then can I... Combine this with this. I finally got everything ready for the carrot sandwich. Great! I'll just put the cook the cooked carrot inside the bread and the carrot sandwich is ready. We obtained the delicious carrot sandwich. That's the weirdest thing ever. Let me equip that. And then let's go to the bunny. Hey, I have your sandwich. That smell! I recognize it anywhere. That's a really nice looking carrot sandwich. Thanks! We put a lot of effort into preparing it. The preparations are complete. Let's begin our tea party. Wow! <laughs> Sparky has a chair. Okay. Wow, everything looks great. This looks great! I wish I could eat it. It's all thanks to you and your carrot sandwich. I wasn't a fan of tea or carrots, but this made me change my mind. This tea party was a great idea. Would you like more tea, Matt? Yes, please. Hey, Blinky, can I ask you something? I'm really curious about how life is in this house for you. Feel free to ask me anything. Okay, so... Who's your best friend? I think it's the dog. You always mention your best friend. Who is it? My best friend is a bear who has always been by my side. Uh, that's fluffy. We did everything together. We were inseparable. One day I couldn't find him anymore. Since that day, I've been more fearful than ever. My best friend always made me feel safer in this house. I miss hugging him and having tea parties all the time. He is a real friend who has always been with me. I can tell you really miss him even now. Do you have a best friend? My best friend in the entire world is my sister, Emma. We're always together no matter what. Emma always helps me when I have a problem and I do the same when she needs me. Before I arrived here, I was helping Emma getting her bear plush back. She also feels safer when she is beside her bear friend. Emma and you have a lot in common. You're right, I really want to meet her now. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, so... Blinky, how do you feel in this house? I've always been afraid, but I used to feel more secure with my best friend. Afraid of what? Lately, I have the feeling that something is watching us, 
It's becoming more intense every day. I don't want to feel like this, but, but I think this place is getting more somber day after day. I miss the days where we were all together like a family. I'm sure everything is gonna get better. I'll help you while I'm here. If only I could find my best friend. Blinky. And what about you? How's life in your house? I've always had my sister's company. I try to do everything possible to make her happy. I try to have fun together with her most of the time. But recently, mom and dad aren't getting along well and my sister is the most affected. I found her crying many times and sometimes I don't know what to say to her. She can count on me. I'll protect her from anything. So, I think this has something to do with what's happening with their parents. Like, there seems to be trouble between the mom and the dad. Matt also mentions that uh, their dad isn't really spending too much time with the kids. So, um, maybe in the parallel world, whatever is affecting or whatever is happening in Matt's world is affecting this parallel world, something like that. Maybe that's why Blinky is sad. I also don't remember if in the in in Emma's toy chest earlier if there was a rabbit, because I was I'm thinking maybe that Blinky is uh, one of her stuffed uh, toys, who's friends with Mister No No Mister Fluffy is the cat. So, um, wait, Mister Mister Lucky is the cat. Fluffy is the bear. So yeah, maybe Fluffy the bear from Matt's real world has a, a, a bunny friend. So maybe that's Blinky? I don't know. I really hope your parents manage to solve their problems. Yes, it must be hard for everyone in your house. Okay, so... So Blinky, what do you like to do? Of all things in this house, the one I enjoy the most is gardening with my best friend. There's a garden in this house that I always enjoy growing with the help of my best friend. We combine the different kinds of seeds to grow unique plants. We also grew beautiful trees in this house. I hope you can see one for yourself. Impressive! I want to see one of those trees. Where can I find them? This house is really big, so we planted several plants and trees in various rooms. Sadly, I think most of those rooms are blocked right now. I wonder why. That's a shame. I hope I'm able to see your work soon. And what about you? What do you like to do? I'm a big fan of mystery. I like to play with my sister. We solve different mysteries and puzzles we design in our house. We call that game the Night Explorer. Sometimes we stay up until late making sorry sometimes we stay up until late making up stories and placing different objects around the house that sounds really fun can i play with you sometime of course we can play with sparky too i can help you with my fire abilities but i'm not a great mystery solver myself i'm sure you will do fine but now i don't know where my sister is have you seen her around here blinky i'm sorry to hear that but i haven't seen her as you know, I've only stayed in this room, frozen by fear. Don't worry, I know I'll find her, and we'll do all kinds of stuff together again. Like playing video games. Ruben's exploration video games are our favorite. We love trying to solve different puzzles to obtain secret treasures. I enjoy video games too. We have some of those here too. I'm sure you can find an interesting cartridge somewhere in the house. Wow, I'm really curious about it now. Hey, Blinky, I feel like we know each other much better now. Thanks for coming to my tea party. It means a lot to me now that my best friend is gone. I see he means a lot to you. Have you tried looking for him? I looked around the house, but there are some rooms I wasn't able to investigate. I'm really afraid to explore the house all alone. I understand. How about I help you find him? Would you do that for me? Of course. We're friends too, right? I light up every corner of this house until we find your friend. Friends always help each other. Thanks, pals. You're true friends. If you're going to look for my best friend, you may need this. You obtained alarm clock. Alarm clock? 
one of my friends usually falls asleep in the worst possible places. Oh, this is where the dog. You can wake uh, anyone up with an alarm. This is pretty useful, thanks. Okay, but take a look. Batteries aren't included. Sorry, I don't have them. There must be something using batteries somewhere in the house. I think there's a tool in the basement that will help you get batteries from something else. Please find my best friend and bring him back to me. Okay, so our mission is uh, to get the tool from the basement, probably a screwdriver, get the batteries from the robot, add it to the alarm clock, wake the doggy up. So that's pretty straightforward. But I think we've been playing this game for a little bit too long. So I'm going to end this episode right here, but we can continue this in the next video. I've been enjoying this so far. The game looks good and uh, it's an interesting game. There's enough mystery just to keep us curious about what really happened here. Why is Matt here? What is happening in this world? It's a weird world and we want to help our new friends figure out how to make it a little bit better. So yeah, let's see in the next episode where this goes. I really hope you're enjoying this one with me too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!